everybody so we are back with another smart india hackathon 2025 video and the problem statements are live and i hope everyone are searching your best problem statement and this video is going to be about problem statement how you're going to select your problem statement how to do an in-depth analysis we are going to do live and everything we are going to talk about in this video in detail before talking about the problem statement let me talk about two important things one as you see in this screen we are going to conduct a live champions blueprint for smart india hackathon we'll talk about it in more detail in the end okay before that the most important thing before choosing a problem statement is team formation this is where most of you do a mistake yeah uh, he's my friend you come you come let's make a team let's go let's go and win this is the motivation which most of you will have it's not at all wrong me myself i had those kind of a mindset in the start but after participating in many hackathons i do have three perspectives why do you form a team first thing is all about interest okay having a team that is ready to work throughout this hackathon technically it's four months up to the finals the smart india hackathon you have to have the coordination throughout right for that you have to have an interest to work it is mandatory okay second thing is team ratio you know as per smart india hackathon we have to have at least one girl in the team technically four male and two girls is ideal okay split the team into a team of developers into a team of researchers into a team of uh, who someone who is going to present technically a six member team should be diverse okay it's not that uh, one has to be a full stack developer i also have to be a developer he also have to be a developer it's not like that it's a coordination of a team okay in my smart india hackathon 2022 victory i was the integrator kind of thing who handles all of it one guy was a web developer one guy was an app developer one girl, she was handling all the encryption perspective. One girl did the analysis and the problem statement and the QR alternative. Technically, role of each other varies. Okay. Make sure to get that in your team ratio. It's not about just having friends. That's what I'm saying again. Finally, the main focus of your team shouldn't be about, yes, I'm going to win Smart India Hackathon. It's not going to be like that. It's about enjoying the journey. Okay. That's what will teach you more. See, no matter what, your end goal is about winning okay it's the hundred step okay but what matters is what step you keep on today for reaching the hundred step you have to get up the first step right that step you have to keep today okay this is all about the team formation now let's get into the problem statement the most important thing while selecting a problem statement is the problem statement itself the problem is people don't understand the problem okay uh, you will take a problem statement okay seems unique i can build a product on that it's not how it works okay you have to understand the pain point first okay for us let me take an example of my problem statement itself it was otp alternative the problem was low network uh, zones the otp frequency was very low for that they need an alternative okay this is a problem in those regions there is a problem i have to understand the problem first then only you can give a solution okay spend time in understanding the problem with all the ai tools you have now you can do it in depth in the upcoming part of this video we are going to do a live research and through a prompt which i had built tailored for you you can do it easily and with a bit of your understanding and knowledge and uh, exposure you can get things more better okay so just as understanding the problem the second thing is to know what are the existing solutions for the problem there can be multiple products okay for our case there was this south african company that were providing usb services and stuff and all okay but what unique you can give you have to have a uniqueness there are two things one is invention or innovation what is invention building something from scratch what is innovation having something and adding an extra feature to be honest ola uber they came first they were having all over the cabs and stuff then rapido came in the same kind of service but they bought for the bikes okay that's a innovation and that's where they have come out now okay keep that in mind first thing understanding the problem second thing scope of innovation by understanding what are the existing competitors so the third important thing is the impact and the sustainability and how scalable the solution you are going to give is okay for that with the analysis which you're going to do and you will be getting a list of solutions what kind of solutions you can give my strategy was shortlist 10 different kind of solutions and pick the priority don't you don't need to over give extreme features focus on the problem give the solution accurate to that you don't have to dump with everyone now ah, my product is ai i can do everything AI. it doesn't matter to be like that okay you have to add ai features i won't say no but make sure to have only what is needed for the product okay so the impact scale has to be crucial and sustainability and scalability keep that in mind while selecting your problem statement then the final thing is feasibility of execution what does it mean 
can you complete the product by building it in the end so it's not about just co choosing a complicated problem segment it's all about building it in the end only then you can win the sih right so people choose complicated problem segments and i've seen a lot of teams that get into the finals they do a good ppt and get into the finals but can't complete their product because they don't have an understanding of the team skills okay now with all these four points okay what matters is no matter what you do here you have to have a good team okay i have this quote okay the strength of the team is the leader the strength of the leader is the team so me as a leader i have to trust my team the team should trust me as a leader this is how it works throughout and the coordination has to be cool it shouldn't be like nah what he says i won't what he says i won't it shouldn't be like that together you can do one this okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to do a live problem statement breakdown through ai okay let's go and yes let's go to the problem statements that have been announced uh, very recently and now what we are going to do is we are going to pick one random problem statement okay see my favorite number is seven so let's just choose this problem statement so what's given development of a digital form management portal for monitoring axiom residue limits and antimicrobial usage in livestock okay so i myself know that there are multiple existing systems okay so the first thing which you have to do as we have already said to understand the problem well okay so if you are not able to understand just through the description we have created a prompt where we are going to do a live analysis now okay Up with every point i said in the earlier from the feasibility to the impact everything we are going to see now with the help of this one prompt which i have made okay let's do it live okay let's go to perplexity this is a research of one of the problem statement which i did just say one 10 minutes back for showing an analysis but now let's do from scratch okay let's do one thing uh let me create a new perplexity pro thing and if you all know a perplexity pro is free for all Atel users for one year make sure to avail it it's very awesome for a research perspective and yes it's not a paid promotion i'm saying because i personally use it okay now let's do one thing let me copy the prompt here in detail okay just copy the whole prompt here just as i'm doing just click on this okay make sure to click on this this is what the deep research means so once i do that put a hyphen here is the problem statement so here just copy this matrix like the problem statement title description organization department category and theme see why i am saying that is sometimes the organization would have a different impact or a different perspective of the problem statement say uh, you are a web developer in one company your usage may be on working on some other product that is related to react and a developer in another company may work on php both are different extremes but we call them as web developer right just as that me being an organization or you being an organization you might have a different perspective of a problem okay so make sure to copy all this not just the problem title and description and paste it out here okay and go uh, it will take at least five to ten minutes of uh, in-depth research to be honest I am so happy to see all this analysis of stuff, say A2s that are coming up. In SIH 2022, we have to go and find research papers, analysis, existing products, everything we have to go step by step. As you can see here, this is just going through all the resources and websites to analyze and break down. This we had to do manually. Okay. So this prompt, what it's going to do is, it's going to give a visual overview of this whole pain points thing how you have to understand feasibility impact scope of innovation clarity of problem statement every single thing you need apart from that we'll be giving an impact score with respect to the evaluators once you see the chart you will be able to understand so hopefully this was gonna help you in analyzing the problem statement and while this analysis happens let me show you one thing okay my team has worked day and night, uh, I think for the past two and a half days since the problem statement had gone live and made this whole thing for you. I'm not sure what I can call this. Every single problem statement that has been listed in the SIH portal, my team has gone and analyzed this with all the five metrics which I had said, five or six metrics as a whole. Starting from innovation, feasibility, impact, tech depth, sustainability, and scalability, and an overall score. Like, just keep in mind that five is the overall score for each uh, uh, 
say an evaluation criteria typically the evaluation criteria is going to be this way okay and an overview of what this problem statement does and why that's pointers okay it doesn't mean that uh, the problem statement which is on 29 score is something that is going to be high value and that's the only thing you have to take i won't say that for sure okay every problem statement has its own uniqueness this is just an analysis of the problem statement and the problem itself you can give a solution based on the understanding the problem is people don't have an understanding of the problem that leads to most of the issue see there has been a lot of teams who i know couldn't end up building the product because once they get shortlisted say they get shortlisted to the finals once they go to the location only they will understand that that's not actually the problem itself then they have to build everything from scratch they lose a lot of time i have seen a lot of teams in my post mentorship phases because my most mentorship will be till the till you get into the finals and then i will be busy with the evaluation criteria i'm not allowed to mentor post that okay so i will be an official evaluator of sih 2025 also so beware just for fun okay so make sure to have a look at this i will be putting this whole thing along with the prompt in a single notion documentation make sure to check the description i'll be pinning in the comments as well okay and uh, let's let's check if the analysis is done yes it's done okay let's see what it has given so digital farm management portal for antimicrobial usage so it has given what are the main uh, pain points so record keeping has been difficult real-time monitoring is difficult compliance tracking is difficult see there are every single pain point metrics okay if you know the problem then only you can give the solution right just i'm saying that why i'm saying that again and again is for you to know that you have to understand the problem statement first that is the key first and foremost the key for winning the hackathon okay so apart from that who are the people who get affected because of this problem what are the current challenges see what are the requirements for building the solution that they have asked for the problem and a lot more a lot more stuff okay make sure to use this prompt for every problem statement it will give you an overview okay apart from that research websites where you can go and check what what are the existing products what is the level of competence it can have every single thing will be here okay and along with that this is something an add on your team fit how your team would suit it okay say so six member team should have a different ratio as i said earlier i have broken that down also in the prompt and this wholly is generated by ai it doesn't mean that uh, if there is no full stack developer or if there is only a mobile developer you can win it's not at all like that if you have interest you can learn in any time make sure to keep in mind okay as you all know we conducted one on one mentorships for si students we have gone to a lot of colleges talking about si hackathons and all this time we are going to do something which no one has ever done in india with respect to smart india hackathon okay let me first give an overview of what it is so you know that we have won seven hackathons both nationally internationally and around 75 plus hackathons as judge and mentor so we having an experience both as an uh, uh, judge as well as a participant we are bringing you a champions blueprint okay this is not going to be like some normal webinar that's going to be like coming and screen sharing this is what you have to do this is what is going to be done it's not going to be like that we are going to do every single thing live out of the two hours webinar only 30 minutes will be talking about uh, like the our roadmap our storyline and everything apart from that the next one hour is going to be designed in live breakdown just as now we saw the problem statement breakdown we are going to do a com we are going to select one random problem statement we are going to get the understand the problem craft a strategy for building the product and try to build a prototype using ai that's the plan so i'm not going to say that i'm going to build the whole product or something i'm going to give you an idea a prototype building strategy or stuff even if you can do in one hour of a webinar such kind of thing you can do everything okay so what's going to be in this webinar apart from just the live thing which i said we're going to talk about the roadmap internal hackathon strategy how you have to select the problem statement your team formation secrets participant strategy so from your mindset you have to have a strategy right how you're going to tackle the problem statement and the evaluator's perspective being an official sih evaluator i have come through a lot of mistakes which you guys have been doing we're going to talk about that the ai impact as i always say ai is a big blessing for automating a lot of stuff and getting things done smoother okay we're going to talk about the ai impact and the final action framework which i'm going to give as a cheat sheet guide 
with everything I have learned from my experience. Okay. And along with us is going to be Vetri who is going to talk about the business and sustainability perspective. That is a very core part in the current Smart India Hackathon. Because it's not just that you're going to build a product and you're going to win. You have to have a social impact and a sustainable future. Okay. So make sure to keep that in mind. And yes, uh, we have quoted the price at 149. Initially, we planned at 600 and I was like, uh, I want you guys to be valued and at most. So I'm bringing down the price to 149 and why not? I'm going to generate a coupon code for all of you. Okay. Everyone who is seeing this video. Use this code SIH30. Okay. Let me just show. If you use the code, uh, you can you don't need a session recording technically. Add discount code and add the code SIH30 for getting an additional 30% discount. This is only for 50 seats. Make sure to avail it and it will get closed hopefully in a day. We are already closed around 100 plus registrations without this video going live with all my college network and stuff and all. So make sure to use this. We are going to do a lot of things. It's not going to be a webinar where I'm going to be upselling my future courses or stuff and all. Our one-on-one -on -one mentorships as earlier, it will be happening like uh, what we did last year. Those are sessions. I think we have taken already 10 plus sessions so far in the one-on-one -on -one category. The one-on-one -on -one sessions will be live. I'm not going to be upselling any of them. It's going to be two hours of pure value. Make sure to register. And we're going to do great things together. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to talk about internal hackathon at first. It's going to be a first portion of the video because uh, why I am making this video specifically is last week I went to RSC college as a guest to note that around 800 teams are going to participate inside the college itself for SIH and compete in the internal hackathon. So they are conducting a hackathon inside itself. So I do feel that you need a dedicated video for internal hackathon strategy. It's going to be a short portion of a video. I will either see if I can split it into two videos or make it as a single video. Okay. And the other portion which I'm going to say is about the winning PPT. The PPT which is going to take you into the finals. Okay. Being an evaluator, I've seen a lot of mistakes that you have been doing as I said in the last year's video as well. This year I came with a lot of new kinds of mistakes. I don't know how innovative ways you are finding to do unique mistakes. Okay. So we are going to talk about it in the video and how you can get things done better in the PPT from a structure perspective. How you can use AI. We are going to use AI in a lot different way for structuring your PPT as well. Okay. Make sure to subscribe and... Uh, register for the webinar we are going to do a lot of stuff there okay let's see you in the webinar until then signing off kamari eldas